definitely could uh, help because towards the end of that set, uh, what was happening was Morty and Deus were adapting and really doing a lot better. So, what? Uh, I definitely agree with them sticking to their characters. And Jab and I and Benson won last time, so why, why change it if it's working, you know? Why fix it? All right. So, chat, who are you rooting for? Who do you think's gonna win? You going for the, the indie boys, the soup time team, or some of the newest, flashiest players in Indiana? Really, all of these guys are flashy, but Benson has a whole different air of flashiness to him. All right. All right, making sure to check the rules. Definitely a good choice. This is loser's finals after all. Someone's elimination is on the line. All right, going to town. Again, I don't, I think this is much better for red team than blue team. But in some stages where it turns into FD, blue team can definitely succeed. Bale's um, really, really dominant in the air, and her um, her laddering is something that Blue Team doesn't have. Though they have many ways to get out of it, which she can Sonic if those characters are free, and with their speed, they can really just run over and interrupt the combo. So Bale can't be as deadly as usual. It's really a tough spot for Bale to be in because. If Morty and Amadeus are playing well, they can just avoid Bayo entirely. But that's up to Benson. Benson can force them into a lot of situations and really stop them from, top, from doing that. But Benson... Yeah. Yeah. Benson can really stop them from doing that. And really, um, really pretty crazy. All right. Ooh. Gemini is doing a good job right now. Being able to get those ladder combos because of Benson. That up smash, absolutely insane. Getting the timing correct. And red team, and red team doing a great job. You know, they're really capitalizing now. Just off that one really good interaction. Uh, they capitalized a lot, they've taken the lead. Uh, Ominous and Morty trying to say no. Amadeus is falling off with a down smash as soon as he lands, trying to end it. Um, all right. Oh, falling in air. Oh, but up be out of shield, Morty says, no, I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh. Okay, so falls out of the combo. Good, Morty, SD has out. Trying to catch him. Combo advances a little bit. Freak is out. Oh! This air dodges makes it. Is that Gemini not able to catch the 50 50, but he will catch Morty there. Morty uses some excellent DI and SDI to live. Uh, but can Deus do it right here? No. At that point, Bayo will kill. And the red team takes the lead again is really dangerous uh, the farther the match goes on. Bale with the lead is really crazy and insane, but Benson will die there. So it'll kind of even up the game state and the opportunities these teams have, which really helps because what blue team needs is they need a little bit of time to kill. You know, they need to rack up that percent for Sonic to kind of just get in there and finish, or they need to get a conversion with Deus, um, and that takes a little while. Both these characters are great at racking up percent, but it still is going to take some time. And the up smash killing Morty right there. Um, definitely really tough. Oh, we see um, we see Benson off stage getting juggled a bit. No, in disadvantage, gets out of disadvantage right now. And oh, Bale. Bale getting sniped by Morty. Going up there with the screen. Um, Needles coming in. F tilt. Oh! 
Not enough to kill there, but still put in some fear in defensive. Oh my god, everyone went flying there. Amadeus is out right now. However, all that Morty needs to do is get a good hit on Benson, and that can be any hit. You know, pivot F smash. Um, a, 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 a conversion off side B like there. Um, just running and back airing. Another one will just end it. So, Gemini really has to do a good job of protecting Benson. Benson has a lot of the kill power here. Bay also has kill power, but she has to work for it. Where um, these, these players have really good DI, so uh, SDI, so it's really hard to read them and figure out what they're gonna do. But oh, oh my, oh, really just getting laddered. Sonic coming down, throwing down what he can. Not being able to kill Benson there, kind of reads it a little bit wrong. Uh, Benson getting the grab, and that's gonna be the first game. Going to red team, Gemini and Benson Obama. And that was very close, but Sheik's fragileness kind of hurt blue team. I feel like red team was really taking advantage of that, and she couldn't do very much because she kept getting caught by Bayo and by Mario. And even by Sonic at some points. So it was really tough for her to contend with the other characters out there. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Deus switch to Fox. Fox is a really hard counter to Bayo, just because when Bayo's laddering someone, Fox can just go in there up air and actually kill her. She, he can punish uh, Bayo very, very hard just for trying a ladder combo. And that definitely gives Fox an edge over Bayo in some, in some situations, especially in doubles, where if your partner's kind of Distracted, um, Fox has a good chance to kill Bale. But it seems like maybe they're going back in. Oh, take it back. They're running it back. Um, Three, two, one, by go. the last game, um, where they did well, they can definitely do, they can definitely take it on this stage. Oh, Denson getting the down B off. Oh, they are, Red Team's taking a lot of stage control. And um, Deus manages to air dodge out again. Uh, these air dodges really helping him right now. Oh. Yeah. Red Team really has control of this game so far. And that's, oh no. Bayo doing her job. Doing what she does best. Ending people's lives, taking their souls. Already trying to do the same right now. But Bayo's recovery is just out of this world. Literally, she can recover from out of this world. From space. All right. Seeing. Oh. Yeah, seeing Blue Team trying to make it their game right now. Uh, but it's really hard to play around Bayo. And Gemini is absolutely making it hard for him to play against. Um, or hard, hard for them to play against. Yeah, he's just going in. He's racking up percent. He's getting kills. And this is kind of something that Bale was struggling in last game. And with Bale being able to do it now, it's even more crazy because they don't have to rely on Mario to get these kills. Bale can just do it herself. And this is what's scary about Bale in doubles. Things like this. Um, oh, she uh, doing it herself, but bats within. Not even gonna let she get anything close to a kill. Oh, neutral air. Uh, Morty catches the air dodge with an F smash. He definitely got the right timing on that. Um, was able to recognize what he needed to do. Benson! Oh my god. All right. Oh. No, dude, pretty crazy stuff. Not really being punished thanks to Benson taking control of the stage. Um, oh, made sure that Benson did not get hit by uh, Bail Combo. Oh, Bail right there. Oh, yeah, and Morty falling off right there. And 
Red team's been completely dominant right now. Thanks to largely a part of Gemini and Benson's ability to keep Gemini um, to keep Gemini safely in the air and not um, and the combos not being able to be interrupted thanks to that. Oh going for just a raw up B. That really really helps. Um, Everyone's doing a good job. Back air, gonna be one of the keys if they wanna try and take this game. You know, Sonic, oh. Sheik is definitely gonna be a key. She cannot die at this point. So, Pierce needs to play really safe. But with Morty kinda getting opened up by this bail, it's really hard. Oh, the down air. Almost killing Sheik there, 150%. Sheik is very fragile right now. She manages to kill Bale. That's definitely one of the things they need right now. Oh, off stage. Bale, can she end it right now? No, Bale's gonna get back on stage. Amade is trying to go crazy with these combos, trying to combo Bale off the stage. He's not getting hit. Oh, Benson pokes him right there. Just with the boot, with the Tims coming out. Oh. Going for up smash. There's really not that much of a risk going for it at this time. And yeah, red team really, really, er, red team really, really dominated there. Really tough to uh, to handle that. And I think at this point, um, the adaptations Morty and Amadeus were trying to make weren't able to match Benson and Gemini's adaptations since they were able to just dominate. So, I definitely got to think that Morty and Amadeus are thinking of switching characters right now. Maybe to someone like Fox with his ability to kind of punish Bale very hard. Or maybe someone even like Ike, which can really capitalize off things like Bale getting hit once or Bale making a mistake. Things like that, Ike can specialize on. You know, and maybe they'll even go double Fox. That'd be pretty crazy, but it can really be tough to deal with on both sides of Bale. So it'll be pretty insane. I definitely don't see them sticking with this team unless they know something we don't. And they're thinking, oh, something really, really crazy, you know. Together. One of their advantages they, they haven't used this set is their multitude of team combinations. And um, when it's, you know, when it's, when it's an elimination game like this, you have to pull out every stop. Having faith in their characters, they're sticking to this team. They're sticking to this stage too. They think they know something. They think they can stop Gemini and Benson from dominating like they did last game. They're playing more defensive already. They're not rushing in, but it's kind of, okay, okay. This is actually really, really good. They're getting a lot of stage control, blue team. Uh, one thing about Bale, she doesn't really need stage control to do her things, but Mario definitely does. So if they can stop Mario, they can stop Bale's combos just like that. And oh my God, this ladder. Oh. 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 Yep, right there. Right there, what Morty needs to do. He needs to stop him with those hits. Oh. Trying to hit Benny. Benny gets out. Ooh, the back air. Benny's just going flying right now. And Morty, with his defensive play, he's being really good. He's making sure that he can do stuff. Okay. All right. The shields have really been helping, I think. Um, Bale doesn't really get too much off of grab. Mario can get a lot off of grab, but they trade stocks right here. Um, oh. Uh, the spring stopping Benson right now. Definitely giving blue team an advantage. Giving them a good chance to take this game. But, 
Oh, Benson tries to get something. Can't though. And yeah. Amadeus just accepts Corny's death off the Mayo combo. Doesn't try to help him because that would be really risky. It, it'd be better for one of them to die than both. Oh. And, all right. Uh, red team sandwiched in between blue team. Right now, they managed to get out. Uh, Bale's kind of, this is doing what he did last stock, his last stock of last game, where he combos Bale. Benson going in with the F-Smash, saying no. Oh, back throw, back throw into Nair. Oh, this could be insane. Case getting out of it. Oh. Up smash going in right there. Not gonna quill quite yet. Ooh. This is really heating up. Morty managing to live right there. 130, managing to take that hit and still be on stage. Chase is taking a lot of damage right now because Morty is in disadvantage. Oh, barely whipping that up smash. Um, really getting out of here. The needle helping up here, taking the stock. Um, that was Benny's last stock. So it gives Blue Team the stock lead technically, but it's not the percent lead. And they definitely need that. And now, all of a sudden, they are at a disadvantage. Amadeus being so squishy, being that light, fragile character of Sheik, definitely needs to watch out for a lot. But if they can get that edge guard here, it doesn't really matter. Oh, the stage spike. Uh, uh, Benson I'm able to recover, but Benson covering his landing option from ledge. Morty's in a tough spot here. He has the percent lead, but he has to fight Bale and Mario without a partner to stop Bale. So it's gonna be really hard for him to do stuff. He's gonna need to hit both of them and run away. A hit and run, hit and run tactics are definitely what Sonic has like going for him right now. But that's gonna be it. Bale doing Bale stuff. And Gemini and Penson take it 3-0. They're gonna get back to Renegade and Percy. That first winner's final set went to game five, so it'll be pretty interesting to see what adjustments both of them make. Gemini and Benson coming off that 3-0 look very clean.